old seven mile house was that I rehabbed and did my first radio show, Education Today. Several political campaigns, charity drives for floods, storms, and a society grown great when old and plant trees in whose shade the others shall enjoy. Thanks to the city of Erlanger, Erlanger and Ellesmere school system where I taught school and was president of the Education Association where my sister Barbara Brandner was a teacher for decades. A.J. Linneman, St. Henry's, even Beachwood High School, Barbara Brandner, Barbara Stevenson Brandner, and her husband Joseph Brandner, a World War II vet, who was on the USS Swanee when it was hit by kamikazes, two of them, lost his best friend Johnny Bianco on the ship, Jay Brandner in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. We'll never forget my brother-in-law all the time I spent with him and loved him dearly. Loved him dearly. Helping seniors is a work of love. But you got to be sincere about it. It's meaningful. It's meaningful. At 80 though, my work now relies on a few phone calls and these videos that I do. Mental capacity is slipping. But my rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated, as some great poet once said. So I'm still out here plugging. So I'm a little broke. God doesn't measure by what you have, but what you've done. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. And I love looking at the garden over here. The garden. The Seven Mile House Garden. Right here on the old Covington Lexington Turnpike. Listening to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio station. Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky. 41040 zip code. Send them in a little contribution to keep that wonderful music on the air. 107.5 FM with the Gill and Janet Hammond. Now like me in their 80s, still working hard to bring you the God's word from the Bible and the message of love. The message of love. He was an educator all his life and so was she. Northern Kentucky University, business teacher, Gil Hammond with Beachwood School, 10 years, and then with the Kentucky Education Association for the rest of his career in the State Department of Education. Wonderful minister for the Lord, a teacher, a teacher, a minister teacher. I've never been a minister, never claimed to be a minister, but I am a teacher, and I might say I'm a darn good teacher. Just ran into one of my students' wives. He's gone on to heaven. Jim Bush. Jim Bush. Great student. He's loved, to, he loved the fact I got to sing for his wife today. I got to sing, You Are So Beautiful. She's so beautiful in the eyes of God. Mayor Fetty, I love you and I love the city council. And I love your work crew. And I'm glad I was able to donate the land there for you to do what you've done, which is good in the eyes of God. Good in the eyes of God. The shade trees that old men and women grow for others to use. For others to use. Right across from Forest Lawn Cemetery here. 3236 Dixie Highway is what it was. The old Covington Lexington Turnpike. Many 
a night. I slept there, and ate there. My son Guy Stevenson and his sister Michelle worked very hard on the back bar there, and Guy's friends fixing it up and refinishing it in the old Right Way Cafe. God bless you all. Beautiful stone wall that we built there is still there to be seen by the workmen that did a lot of hard work there, the stonemasons. Like June's father, uncles, the Guymans, the Guyman brother carpenters, and the Guyman brother home builders, and the Guyman brother stonemen. The stone fence. Lucky Callan, Earl Callan, Roger Evans, Bruce Reams, all the stonemasons that helped me over the years. Here, 213 Beechwood Road with a little stone house with a cross and a gable. Beechwood in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. And uh, up at 127 Seville Court, where June and I were married in 1989. Watch our honeymoon on YouTube too, as well as these shows. Watch them all. The little house we built out on Moffat Road where I grew up, Martin and Moffat Roads with the Noakes and the Small Woods and the Roys. All of the wonderful people there. The Kerrs. See a little picture once in a while of Carol Kerr with me and my guitar playing a song for her. Lived up the street. We all loved her. She was a wonderful young lady. Joe Kerr, all the Kerrs, wonderful people. Listening to WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial. I ask you today, are you ready? That's the name of my show on television, on cable TV. Are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus? He knocks on everybody's door. But you must reach down, turn the knob, and invite him into your heart. And make a U-turn, as old Harold Pike used to say. Make a U-turn in life. Turn to Jesus. Read the scriptures that I post for Miss June each day on Facebook, YouTube, wherever I can post them. The love of God. Oh, my goodness gracious. The love of God. He loves us all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Billy Graham, your crusade in 1956. Crusade where little Judy Felton Stevenson and I, the old little Kenton Baptist Church, the one-room church. Oh, yes. Brother Kerger was the pastor. Polly was the, his wife. Walter Roden, John Grizzell, Vernon Likens, and Carl Covey, four deacons. And the pastor took that old church bus, raggedy church bus, for us kids. Drove Judy and I down to be at the Billy Graham Crusade, where we gave our life to the Lord. And we learned the lesson. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. Ah, yes. Billy Graham. Had George Beverly Shea there with him who taught me two songs. I'd rather have Jesus than how great thou art. Cliff Barrows, the choir director, signed in the Bible that I still carry around with me and have dignitaries sign in it, including President Jimmy Carter, senators, governors. Why? Because I wanted them to know, I told, I told my good friend who's gone on to heaven this past year, Brereton Jones, 
asked me. I was on the ticket with him, singing for him in every county in the state. I was on the ticket with him when I won my position as superintendent of education for the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the last one elected. And the first one from Northern Kentucky in almost 70 years to a statewide office. Ah, oh, yes, I loved every minute of it. And he asked me one time up on a stage at Fancy Farm Picnic, where I sang many a time, John, why do you ask everybody to sign in your Bible? And I looked at him and I said, God's governor, I want them to realize that this is the most important book ever written. And he said, you're the most God-fearing person I've ever known, John. Well, I could be so. I am God-fearing. And I respect God and I respect his holy word. God bless you all. I tell you what, we're all working. Are you ready? Are you ready? Judy and I come home and was baptized. She was baptized by Say You Baptist Church and they're baptismal. And I was baptized in the Lincoln River. What an experience that was. <laughs> I don't think I've ever quite gotten over it. It's the good and the bad and the ugly. <laughs> But it's done, and uh, I never will forget it, singing in Dubu Park, the young man, singing everywhere I went, and I'm still singing as best I can, just like I'm going to sing for you right now. Ah, yes, I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail-pierced hands than to be the king of a vast domain are beheld in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. God bless America, and God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and the city of Erlanger and Ellesmere, and all of Northern Kentucky. NKY1, home of the ark, and answers in Genesis, and the golden triangle from Boone, Kenton, and Campbell counties, to all of Cincinnati, Lexington, and Louisville, and the Commonwealth of Kentucky. God bless you all, and God bless all of our citizens and give us strength to do godly principles.
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. WIOK. Southern Kentucky Gospel, WIDS, Russell Springs, Jamestown. SRN News. With SRN News, I'm Student visas show their willingness to break the law and utterly disrupt our way of life and threaten law-abiding students who are actually American citizens. If they're willing to take over buildings and physically terrorize their fellow students, why would they not be willing to lie on a voter registration form? The GOP bill is unlikely to pass the Democratic-controlled Senate, and the White House opposes it. 
Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has confirmed it should be passed. that the United States promised it should be passed. to Israel as President no one should Biden's vote administration not faces growing pressure to condition aid to the top U.S. ally amid the war in Gaza. Austin says the U.S. wants to see Israel be more precise in its operations. We better stand Tomorrow behind the right Israel kinds of weapons if we have any kind of sense at all. For the, uh, uh, for the task at hand. And a small diameter bomb, which is a precision weapon that's very useful in a, in a dense built-up environment, is, it is helpful. Uh, but maybe not so much a 2,000-pound bomb that, uh, that could create a lot of collateral damage. Testifying before the U.S. Congressional Subcommittee on Wednesday, Austin said the Biden administration had paused one shipment of high payload munitions amid concerns about the Israeli military's push to invade the southern Gaza city of Rafa. The Washington, D.C. mayor and police chief say they decided to clear a pro-Palestinian encampment at George Washington University based on shifting information about increased threats to public safety. Absolutely Street, shameful. By mayor Bowser. Points, the She's Nasdaq the one that started and caused her and Nancy Pelosi that caused the January the 6th move on the Capitol. Life on land is a tough sell. Come on down they to refused land. to call in the, the National Guard that so President waiting. Trump had approved. Had approved in advance. All they had to do was call them in. Foolish. And for it's politics land. reasons. Life for themselves. Way more relaxing, and it's even more Just like they're trying to do injustices to President Trump, former President Trump right now. Total injustice and corruption in New York with judges and prosecutors. Our justice system needs corrected. Anybody can see it and know it. Believe me, I can tell you some things about it myself. Shamefully. Travels with Dr. John advantage. Stevenson, 859 Get your free quote at deadethos.com. Begottensun.com, www.begottensun.com, www.gotsbiz.com, www.jstevenson.com. Join us on YouTube and Facebook under John Stevenson and John A. Stevenson. God bless you. Don't forget, go out and vote. May the 21st. I surely would ask you to vote for Julie Jada, District 77, 17, Southern Kenton County, Grant County, Scott County, and Fayette County. Julie Jada, mother of four children, all in college, on scholarships, working hard, good family, good educator, good school teacher. Teacher, good teacher in her church, wonderful young lady, Julie Jaddock, praise the Lord, running for state senator to replace uh, the vacant spot in the primary, May the 21st, go out and vote, or you can vote early. At the two or three locations. Ukraine says it's full of Russian plot to assassinate President Vladimir you have questions, call me at 859-750-0000-859-750-0000. Have a great day. The sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. Tis summer, the children at play. The corn tops ripe and the meadows are in bloom and the birds make music all the day. Weep no more my ladies oh we no more today we will sing one song for my old 
Kentucky home for my old Kentucky home far away. Oh, the children rule on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says good night. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home, far away, for my old Kentucky home, far away. God bless America, and God bless Kentucky, and God bless Northern Kentucky, Boone, Kenton, and Campbell counties, Gallatin, Grant, Pendleton, and Maysville. Mason. God bless the Tri County. Northern Kentucky first. Northern Kentucky number one. Home of the Ark and Answers in Genesis. May God bless the tri Golden Triangle of Cincinnati, Louisville, and Lexington and Northern Kentucky. The gateway to the south and the north with the brand new bridge that will be built to match the Brent Spence Bridge. God bless America and God bless Kentucky. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Red, yellow, brown, black, and white. They're all precious in Jesus' sight. Don't forget my little niece. Oh, yes, my little niece. Julie. J-A-D-O-C-K. Jadock. Julie Jadock. Running for state senator. Here in Kentucky. In Kenton County. Southern Kenton County. Scott County. All of it. All of Grant County. And parts of Fayette County. Julie Jaddock for state senator, wonderful school teacher, educator in the church, wonderful mother, father, and can't beat her. She's a great worker for the people. May the 21st, get out and vote. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. And listen to WIOK 107.5 on the FM on the radio dial. Some great sermons and great music. You're to love people and use money, not reverse. So he says, use your money to do good, always being ready to share with others whatever God has given you. By doing this, you will be storing up real treasure for yourself in heaven. It is the only safe investment for eternity. And they, that's us, you will be living a fruitful Christian life down here as well. Now, you can't take it with you. You never see a hearse pulling a U-Haul. You can't take it with you, but you can send it on ahead. How do you do that? Four times in Scripture, Jesus says, store up treasure in heaven. How do you do that? How do you bank in heaven? By investing in people who are going there. That's how you do it. By investing in what we're doing in daring faith, getting people into heaven, getting them strong, getting them growing. He said, that's investing in heaven. He said, what you send on ahead, you're going to be able to enjoy the treasures in heaven for yourself. One of the most important things that Jesus said is this next verse, Luke 16, verse 9. So working hard, you, bless his heart. Jesus talking, I tell you, use your worldly Joel wealth. Joel and Robin. Your worldly Joel resources. had a birthday the other day. Had a wonderful time with him. Others. Grandson and granddaughter. And 
by that. Maybe I'll come back to that. Kill In Jan Hammond. Your generosity stores Jedi. Up a reward for you. There she is right there. And my and good friend Tim it. Moser, state what representative. Does it mean my resources She's looking running for re-election and she deserves it. She's done a beautiful <laughs> job. Praise what the Lord. What is this? Choose Take life. some of your money. Julie Jaddock and, and Ken Moser. Choose life. And use it to build bridges of friendship to bring people to Jesus Christ who are then going to be saved and they're going to go to heaven with you.